The difficult decisions that Alice households have to make is one of the real defining features of these families. So if you're having to pay more for your housing, then that means you have less money for other things like food and medicine. For a mother to have to make those choices is terrible. We see some really tough decisions around health that if you skip care, then you have worse outcomes in the long run. There's a big concern around that with COVID that a lot of Alice households risked their health to continue working because they couldn't afford not to have income coming in, got COVID, and now are susceptible to some of those longer term consequences, especially if you're on high deductible plans or you have you know, minimal health insurance to get the treatment that you need in the short term and then especially in the long term, access to specialists and special care is even more of a challenge for Alice families. When I think about the effects of COVID-19, I really think about two groups in particular, Black women and Hispanic women. And I think about what was happening with these women before COVID. And what we know as researchers is that many of these women were the sole providers in their families. And they were actually, you know, juggling a lot of balls in the air. They had a, a lot of economic pressures on them. But they were also dealing with a legacy of systemic racism and discrimination that surfaced in a lot of different ways. A lot of families did not have wealth and savings to last them. So COVID just added more pressure, making them more vulnerable than they already were. The pandemic has had enormous impact on accelerating the changes. African-Americans and Latinos are much more likely to have the jobs that expose them to the virus. They are three times more likely to have been infected, far more likely to die. 45% of African-Americans, 47% of Latinos said they could not come up with $400 to meet an emergency expense. Living on the edge, just barely surviving, that division has gone up even more this year than it was in the past years. And this is where we start to see this very awful cycle of multi-generational poverty and multi-generational economic hardships. The American character is at stake. Everything that we say we are, everything we say we believe in, that is really what is at stake here. 70% of everybody in Harris County under the age of 20 is African American and Latino. By 2050, all of America will look like Houston looks today. We are there first. How we in Houston navigate this transition to build a truly successful, inclusive society will have enormous implications. This is where the American future is being worked out.